buying and selling crypto on one of the more trusted exchanges where you can deposit with several fiat currencies. Kraken offers, in my opinion, a robust platform with good security features and access to several cryptocurrencies within their exchange. In this beginner tutorial, we will show you how the basic features work. Hello, Adrian here. Episode 7 of Exploring Exchanges for Bitcoin for Beginners. The complete guides and tutorials where we help you understand exchanges and how to use them for your crypto trades. Today, Kraken Exchange, one of the major exchanges where you can buy crypto with fiat currencies. Kraken's platform offers many features. And besides that, their user interface is also a bit counterintuitive compared to many other exchanges, which may lead to some confusion among users that are still beginners. This tutorial will hopefully give you a head start. We will go through sign up, account setup and doing trades with fiat and crypto, also deposits and withdrawals. Timestamps are included in the description if you want to skip through it. And of course your thumbs up are very appreciated and also please subscribe if you haven't already. Before we start the usual disclaimer, this is not financial advice or investment advice. You are responsible for your own money and the decisions that you take with it. Everything here is for entertainment only. Besides that, everything in this video is relevant at the time of recording. Please check if all info is still up to date at the time you are watching this. Now let's get into it. The exchange is located at kraken.com. Always make sure you are on the right domain. For signing up, you just go to create account, enter an email address, enter a username and a password. Check I agree and we'll need to enter a country and I can continue with the sign up. You need to activate your account and for this they will send you an email to your email account which contains the activation key. So in your email you can just copy the code that is shown here, paste it here, you need to enter your password again activate account before you can do anything with your kraken account you first need to do some verification in the main account options click get verified to enable crypto to crypto trading you need to enter some personal information like name birth date country and phone number this will verify you for tier one you will be allowed to deposit unlimited crypto funds however withdrawal is limited to the equivalent of two thousand five hundred dollar per day and twenty thousand per month you should not exceed those limits because your account might get locked and not re-enabled again until you are verified for any next tier once you are verified for tier 1 and you also wish to deposit fiat currency, you will need to verify for tier 2, which means also submitting your address. Tier 2 allows for $2,000 per day and $10,000 per month in fiat deposits and withdrawals, but also higher crypto deposits and withdrawals. Tier 2 should be enough for just getting started, so let's do this right away. Scroll down and here you will find the form that you will need to enter. And after you've done that, you can click get verified. And once your information is submitted, you can already go right through to tier two, for which you can click this button here. And here you can enter your credentials and click get verified. And once that's done and you wish to continue to trading, you can just click no thanks. And you will see here that I'm verified for tier one and tier two, which means I can trade and deposit and withdraw crypto to crypto and I can deposit fiat currency. Next step is setting up account security. In your main account, click on security right over here. The most important thing is setting up two factor authentication with, for example, Google Authenticator. And you have the option to enable 2FA account login, but also separate 2FA codes for approving withdrawals or even for approving trade orders. Let's set up 2FA for account login now. Click on the button right over here 
And if you want to use Authenticator from Google, you can click set it up over here. You can just keep the recommended settings and click next. Okay, now this is important. You need to save this code. You first need to write it down on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place because this code is needed to restore your 2FA if you lose your phone, for example. You can just scan the QR code with your app. And once you've scanned it, you can type here the code that's been generated by your app and click save. I would also certainly recommend setting an extra 2FA for approving withdrawals, which is just another hurdle to be taken by hackers if they manage to compromise your account. Just click the button and continue the same process. Click the button just over here. The master key is a code that can be used for account recovery if you get completely locked out from your normal account login options for whatever reason. Another way to massively improve your account security is to activate global settings lock. With this activated, any changes that you want to make on your account settings, like for example email address or withdrawal addresses, you first need to unlock your account and wait a set amount of days before the changes can be made. And in the meantime, you will receive a notification per email that an unlock request has been made. A hacker would not be able to make such changes directly and you would have time to secure your account. If you want to activate this extra security feature, just click on the link here on the right and follow the instructions carefully. Next we want to do is deposit funds in our account. This can be crypto but fiat currency is also possible to deposit. For depositing we first click funding and then deposits is shown by default and we can choose the currency we want to deposit. Kraken currently offers US dollar, Euro, Japanese yen and Canadian dollar. Depending your country, one of these currencies could be available for depositing. In my case, I can choose Euro for example. Depending the fiat that is available for your country, various and different depositing met methods should be available. Click on the currency and then choose the available methods. Just choose deposit methods. SEPA transfers for Euro are free for depositing within the EU countries. So that of course is the best thing to pick. Read the instructions carefully. If you scroll down, you will find the bank information you'll need for the bank transfer. Also, you need to pay attention that it is required to enter the full reference. That's here, the reference in the bank transaction description including the kraken.com text. If you forget this, your transfer cannot be processed. Minimum for Euro SEPA transactions is only one Euro. Today we will however not deposit fiat, we will deposit ether. So for this we will choose ether from the column, click to confirm. You need to agree that you acknowledge that Kraken is not responsible for any coins sent to the wrong address. So. They want you to be really careful which address you sent your funds to. Now you can just generate new address and it will show up here. If you have used an address, you can always add new address by clicking once more an address. Now you can either scan with a QR code, which is shown here, or just copy paste the address in your wallet. In this case, I will copy it and then go to my MetaMask, create a transaction. I will paste the address, send the amount. The amount needs to be at least 0 0.05 Ether to be processed. So I will send 0 0.07. And if you want to see how it's going with your deposit, you can just click deposit again and then you will see your deposit appearing here and it's still confirming. So we need to just wait for enough confirmations to be able to trade with the funds. After successful confirmation, funds will be available in our account. And then we can click trade right over here. 
then we will first need to select the trading pair we want to use. In our case, we want to sell for Euro. So we will select Ethereum Euro right over here. Now, if we want to see the chart for this trading pair, we will need to click on this bar symbol. This will open a separate window with a trading view chart and options and features for technical analysis. Okay, so if I want to make an order, I will have to click new order next to overview right over here. We then have three options available, simple order, intermediate and advanced. Intermediate will give a few extra features for our order and also leverage margin trading, which I don't recommend to beginners. Advanced will even give you more features for your orders, but that is mostly for advanced trading. Regular buy and sell orders for beginners are best done with the simple order option. So we're gonna just do that. We need to choose if we are going to buy or sell. In this case, I will sell Ether for Euro. If we want to do limit order, which is the default option, the best price is already pre-filled and we can either enter the Ether or Euro amount that we want to trade and the program will automatically calculate the counter amount. If you would like to change the limit price and you want to see the prices in the order book, just scroll a little bit down and click here on order book. In this case, I want to sell for 445 and I'm going to sell 0 0.06 Ethereum. We're going to get an order confirmation, submit order. And if we want to see the order, we just scroll down again and go to new and open orders. And here you see it. If you want to cancel the order, we can just click the red button here, which says cancel. And if we want to make a market order, we can just do market and it will execute against the first best available price. And we can enter the amount of Ether we want to sell, in this case 0 0.06 and we just do sell ether, submit order, and within a few seconds, the order is closed, and we'll see our balance updated here or here. Okay, if we're done trading, uh, withdraw our funds, and we click to funding again, then click withdraw, and we want to withdraw ether, so we have to click ether, and then we need to add the address that we want to register for our account. For this, we go to our personal wallet again. So in this case, I will open my MetaMask, copy the address. We can give it a name so we can easily recognize it in our account. And we paste the address. Click Save Address. And we need to confirm the withdrawal address. And for this, Kraken will send you an email to your email account. Email will contain a confirmation link, which you can just click. There you go. Successful address approval. The address is now ready to be used for withdrawals. So in order to use the address, we will need to click Ether again. We can select MetaMask and then the amount we want to withdraw. We are going to withdraw everything and we can click review withdrawal. Enter the specific Google Authenticator code for withdrawals. Confirm withdrawal and it's successfully submitted. And if we click view withdrawals, we will see that the withdrawal is initiated and we just have to wait so that was it for today's tutorial and overview about Kraken Exchange. I hope this video was useful for you. If so, thank you for your likes and subscribe to the channel for more of our content. If you have more questions, leave a comment below. Stay with us and watch one of our recommended videos that are featured next. And I will see you soon. Take care.